While we're going through the back end admin section of Shopify, let's go ahead and create a couple discount promo codes. We're not necessarily going to use them right now, but we will be using them in the future. And it's just good to have these things done beforehand. So we're going to create a couple of them. First one we're going to do, this is what they're going to actually enter at the checkout. Uh, we're going to name this one, I like to put them in all capital letters, SHIP10. This is a promo code that I use among all of my stores. Actually, all of these that we're going to create are. Uh, this is uh, a 10% off the entire purchase order. Yep, for the entire, there's no minimum purchase amount. It's not going to be specific to a specific customer, specific group. You can do that later down the line. Like if you have somebody that messaged you on Facebook, be like, man, I found this cheaper on Amazon. I would buy it, but it's too expensive. Be like, all right, dude, let me just cut you a discount code. Uh, use it, whatever. But we're not going to deal with that right now. You can do that down the line if you want to. But for now, we're going to create these codes. They're going to be for everybody. There's going to be no minimum requirements. It's going to apply to the entire order. And it's not going to be limited to the amount of times that it can be used or how many times a customer can use it. Because if a customer comes back and wants to use the SHIP10 promo code a million times, more power to them. That's a million sales more for us. We'll take that and then as far as these are going to go they're not going to have an end date so these are just generic codes that are going to be static and they're going to stay with the store as you keep scaling so save that go back to discounts create number two and i named this one last 15. it's not the last one that we use in like the text message or the email marketing campaigns but it, when it's named last it kind of gives that little impulsive factor to the customer like could potentially be the, the last promo code. It gives a little more impulse to it and, it and it converts pretty good like that. Percentage is gonna be 15% off, entire order, none, everybody, not selected, no end date, save. All right, then let's move on to, we're gonna create three more. We're gonna create a 25% off next. A lot of people don't look at these promo codes like this and, 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 and I get it. People don't want people to uh, their customers to take more money off. They want to keep as much money from the sale as they can. But look at it like this. If you hadn't done this, you would have never got the sale anyway. So at least when you create these discount codes, you're getting something from that customer. That customer is worth something to you rather than nothing. The discount codes are, are almost always going to be used for remarketing purposes anyway. You just got to incentivize them to come back. So I named that one Final 25 because it is actually the final one in the sequence that, that I use. Entire order, none, everybody, not limited, and end date, good. We'll save that, and then we're going to do one more, and we're going to name this one Save 35. That's exactly what it sounds like. It is a 35% off discount code for the entire order. Uh, we actually don't really publicize the save 35% off. This one is just simply used for an upsell after the purchase. So when the customer gets to the thank you page, after they've already purchased something from you, we upsell them again with the incentive that we give them to come back and buy is a 35% off discount code. And it seems to convert very, very well. As far as my previous numbers have pulled, 10% of the time, the customer, when they get to the thank you page and they see the additional upsell, they actually come back and buy again 10% of the time. And our margins are gonna be so much higher that you're going to have that room to even give the 35% off. So it's, it's not gonna be a drastic difference to you. Most people aren't going to sit there and try and buy two, three, four hundred dollars worth of stuff um, on the upsell, unless of course you're selling stuff that that is that much. Don't get caught up in the fact that it's 35% off because it's only going to be used after the customer has already purchased from you. So we'll save that one. That one's good to go. And then we're just going to create the obvious one here. Every store has one. Every store should have one. And that's the free shipping discount. Now we're just going to name this one free ship shipping and then I put the year so last year I used 2018 this year I used 2019 and next year I'll use 2020 percentage nope that is going to be free shipping all countries and that's all the same but yeah I mean if you're gonna go in and you're gonna do uh, special promos where you're having a Super Bowl marketing party so you create your Super Bowl page and it's specific just to the Super Bowl then you're gonna wanna create a end date on it 
so it's not being used uh, after then. But yeah, that's pretty much all we got rocking there, guys. Let's jump into the next vid.